Well, good evening and happy Saturday, Idaho. As you can imagine, we have had lots going on in our forecast in the last 48 hours. So as of yesterday, we had about four, almost four and a half inches of snow reported from the Boise Airport. Today we had about five and a half inches reported. So in total, we're looking at about 9.9 .9 inches. That's the eighth highest two day snowfall that we have seen almost since 1920. So really we've been comparing and contrasting over the last couple of days how much it can compare to and what that record is looking like. So eighth is not bad. Now here's a look at some of those current temperatures that we're seeing. We're starting to see a major cool down coming in off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. Currently we're at 30 degrees in Boise, 28 over in Twin Falls. Now overnight we're going to see those temperatures drop real low like we're going hard freeze low 18 degrees is what we can expect overnight and this is creating the concern for everything that will melt or that has melted over the course of today it's going to all freeze over so this is now creating some slippery very dangerous driving conditions going into our sunday the good news is though tomorrow's forecast is looking relatively mild compared to what we have seen we're looking at a high of 36 degrees partly cloudy conditions but tomorrow evening that's going to be a very different story we have a secondary system that'll be rolling in late tomorrow night and here's a look at what's going to be happening. So everything that you're seeing right here, this is the moisture that we're anticipating. Right behind me is that stationary front that's moving through Idaho already. That's what's been bringing us a lot of that unsettled weather, a lot of the snow that we've been seeing. But this is the secondary system again, lots of moisture. And right here, this is a high pressure front that once that rolls through the area, we can start to see all of the snow that's going to be gathering from here. This is what's going to turn that snow into some rain, and it's that rain that we'll start to expect going into our Monday, possibly Tuesday, that we can expect that this system will be over and we'll get a little bit of relief. Now, really, we're just having to monitor when that'll be. Now, looking at the future clouds and precipitation, here is a look at 1245 PM tomorrow. We're seeing lots of cloud coverage already rolling into the area, bracing us for that secondary system. And then a look at 945 tomorrow night shows us that we're already starting to see rain, a mix of the rain and the snow, possibly snow in some parts, but you can expect a majority of that snow to be taking part in our central mountain region and really those higher elevations. But again, don't discredit it. We could be seeing that snow coming in and out of the forecast here in the Treasure Valley region for tomorrow night going again into our Monday morning. Here's a look at it again, dominated up into our mountain regions. Lots of heavy snow. We're seeing that we're really just getting a fluctuation of the rain, the snow, the mix of the two, and we're going to just be seeing that pushing its way through most of our Monday and Monday at about 215. We'll start to see slight clearing. We're not seeing as much of our forecast area covered by a lot of that precipitation, but we again can expect our mountains to be seeing a lot of that activity with a brief breakdown here in the valleys, just some cloud coverage before Tuesday rolls around, and we're now expecting again a secondary wave of some of that rain and snow in the valley regions for your Tuesday. Now looking at some of the high temperatures we can expect going into our Sunday. Again, we're looking pretty pleasant considering what we've been seeing. 36 will be the high in Caldwell in Boise. Really, we're going to be staying anywhere between the mid to high 30s here in the Treasure Valley. Up in the mountains, very similar. 36 will be the high in Garden Valley, 35 for Idaho City. It'll be a high of 39 though in Riggins. We can expect some evening snow showers for sure in the West Central Mountains and even our East Central Mountains. We're almost seeing a copy and paste scenario for our Sunday in the East east and west central mountains. It'll be a high of 27 in Stanley and in the Magic Valley. We're looking at similar conditions to what we could possibly be seeing here into the Treasure Valley. High of 36 in Gooding really again in that mid to high 30 degree zone. Now looking at that extended forecast over the next seven days, here's a look at what you can expect Sunday night. So it's at really at midnight going into your Monday that we can expect any activity. And then Monday is going to be taken over by the snow. Tuesday, we're looking at more snow, a brief break in the forecast for your Wednesday, mostly sunny conditions. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, lots of activity.